Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a C-sharp program to find the sum of the digits of a number, which is nothing but if we have the number 781, then what we do is we will separate each digits of this number. We will add them and we will display the result. So we will perform 7 plus 8 plus 1, which is equal to 16. Now here, the order in which we are going to separate the digits of this number is not important because you know we can uh, separate the digits from left to right or from right to left it doesn't really change the result because 7 plus 8 plus 1 will be equal to 1 plus 8 plus 7 so now how we're going to separate the digits of the number let us say we have the number 1 to 3 now since this number is in decimal number system what we do is we divide this number by 10 so we will check out the quotient and the remainder value here it will be 12 120 and we get 3 as the reminder and we have 12 as the quotient if you look at this uh, carefully then the number is 1 to 3 and the remainder is 3 which is the last digit of this number and the remaining digits are present as the quotient value which is 12 here now in order to separate this 12 what we do is we take that 12 and we again divide it by 10 and this time we get 1 10 and the remainder is 2 and this 2 is the second digit of this number 1 2 3 123 now again uh, we take this quotient 1 and we divide it by 10 so this time the quotient will be 0 and the remainder is 1 and this 1 is the first digit of this number 1 2 3 so here when we get the quotient value as 0 we will stop dividing and here it means that we have processed or we have separated all the digits of the number so this is how we are going to separate the each digits of the number now the next thing is how we are going to use this in our program in our program first we maintain a variable let's say sum and we will initialize this variable with a value of 0 and we store the number in a variable let's call it as number and uh, let's say 143 now as long as this number variable contains a value greater than 0 we execute a set of statements so we will use a while loop and we will check the number variables value if the number variable is containing a value greater than 0 then uh, first what we want to do is we want to find out the remainder so we will perform number modulus operator and 10 so we get the remainder value and that remainder value will be the one digit of the number and what we do is we will add that to the value present in the sum variable and we will store it in the sum variable so we will write sum equal to sum plus reminder after that we know that the other digits remaining uh, can be accessed by getting the quotient value when we perform number divided by 10 so what we do is we will store this quotient value that we get back again in the number variable and as long as this number variable contains value greater than 0 or as long as this quotient value is not 0 this while loop will run it will separate the each digits of the number and it will add them so once the quotient becomes 0 once this number variable contains 0 the while loop will stop executing and when we come out of this while loop we have the sum of the digits of the number in the sum variable now let us see how we can write the c sharp program for this one here i have already written some code we are using the system namespace i have created my own namespace called as sum of digits and then we have the class program and inside this class we have the static void main method now the first thing that we do here is we will declare the variables that we are going to use the first variable that we need is for storing the number for which we want to find the sum of the digits i'm gonna initialize this variable right here right now i'm not gonna take the input from the user I want you to make that modification you need to take the uh, input for this number variable from the user and whatever the number the user is going to enter for that number you have to find out the sum of the digits now the next variable that we need is for storing the remainder value and we need another variable i'm going to call it as sum for storing the sum that we are going to calculate now i will initialize this sum variable with a value of zero now we will use a while loop now as long as this number variable contains a value 
greater than 0 we will perform some set of operations and that is first we will calculate the reminder value so we will perform number modulus 10 and we get the reminder value and we will store that back in the reminder variable and after that we will add the uh, reminder variables value to the sum variables value so we will write sum equal to sum plus reminder and after that we know that the remaining digits will be available as the quotient value so we will calculate that by writing or we will get the quotient value by performing the division operation we will divide it by 10 and we will store that back in the number variable so now what happens here is for the first iteration of this while loop the number variable will contain uh, the actual value that we have specified here 456 and after the first iteration the number variable will get the quotient value that will be calculated inside the um, inside this while loop now here to get the quotient value we are performing the division operation this is the division operator and here to get the reminder value we are using the modulus operator so once we come out of this while loop we have the sum of the digits of the number in the sum variable and we will display that to the screen and here i'm going to say i'm going to use a placeholder and i will provide the value of this sum variable so now we have uh, written the program let's run this sum of the digits is 15 and that's because 4 plus 5 plus 6 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 9 plus 6 equal to 15 now here we can uh, make some modifications to this program and that is we can write this program without using the reminder variable so i'm going to remove this reminder variable and here what we do is when we find out the reminder value we will directly add to the sum variable instead of storing it in the reminder variable and then adding that to the sum variable so we will write sum equal to sum plus and then the reminder value that is calculated number modulus operator 10 and we can further simplify this what we can do is we can write sum plus equal to number modulus operator 10 and here we are using the shorthand operator it will be exactly equal to sum equal to sum plus uh, number modulus 10 and here also we can modify this and we can make it like number divided by equal to 10 which will be exactly equal to number equal to number divided by 10 now you have to make that modification of taking the number from the user so after making the modification post your code in the comment section so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then uh, write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video